in this talk for North East Science Movement of Vigyan Bharti. I would like to speak on the topic towards new normal with agribiotech entrepreneurship and allied sectors. The sectors which can boost the economy of Assam as well as the Northeastern states. We all know about the current situation happening due to COVID-19 and worried about the future. According to International Labour Organization, the lockdown measures affected about 2.7 billion workers in different sectors. We don't have any clear solution at present. This pandemic has brought challenges. However, this situation is bringing opportunities to us to relook the huge resources available in our own region. As per recent report, lakhs of people are returning to Assam and Northeastern states. Some are students and some are currently unemployed persons. Some of them are receiving financial assistance from government and they may receive this for another few months. But what next? Honorable CM of Assam has urged the young generation who have returned to their homes to take up farming as a means of self-employment. He also pitched for making a Assam initiative in the same line of Making India initiative. Keeping the above scenario in mind, this presentation is prepared with a hope that this will be useful for the people affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Peoples returned and currently unemployed can be categorized in different sections based on their education, work experiences, and thus with these people, a complete business chain can grow with a proper planning in our region. We can remember about Operation Flood, launched during 1970s in Gujarat, which can brought India as largest milk producer in the whole world. The man behind the success of the program was Varghese Kurein, and due to the movement only milk products are not only available in India, but also milk products are exported from India to all over the world currently. Keeping the success story of Operation Flood in mind, here I am highlighting a few sectors which can be taken up by the current unemployed people in our region for self-employment as well as for the success of Honorable Prime Minister's vision on Atma Nirbhar Bharat. Any states are considered for having the organic soil. If we could maintain its organic nature by following the guidelines of recommended fertilizer application and use of vermicompost or fertilizers, biofertilizers in our fields. Here I like to state that in January 2016, Sikkim became India's first 100% organic state. Today all farming in Sikkim is carried out without synthetic fertilizer. Sikkim's agriculture policies like organic farming and on organic mission enabled the state to become the first 100% organic state in the world. And thus, Sikkim can be taken up as model state by other sister states for production of organic food. During 2010-2014, 80% budget of Sikkim was used to build the capacity of farmers rural service providers and certification bodies and to support farmers in acquiring certification. In parallel, measures were undertaken to supply farmers with quality organic seeds such as strengthen the local organic seed development and production. Sikkim also has livelihood schools, organic center of excellence and organic farming training centers, which provides technical support to all Northeastern Hills regions. Does Sikkim become one of the state in India where young people decide to stay in their own state and take farming and food processing sectors as a means of self-employment? Secondly, I like to speak about cultivation of aromatic and medicinal plants. There are two missions are available of Government of India for promotion of agri-entrepreneurship. One is the Aroma Mission and other one is the Phytopharmaceutical Mission. Under Aroma Mission, there are Osimum, Mint, Vetiver, Lemongrass and under Phytopharmaceutical Missions, there are different plants like Kalmeg, Asurgandha, Sena. So, different organizations like CSR NIS, CS, uh, CSR CMAP, CDRI, IHBT is working together to develop and popularize technologies for cultivation, processing, value addition, product development, and marketing of these plants, these medicinal and aromatic plants under these missions. 
all these sectors can be well developed through cluster development approach. Thirdly, I like to speak about food processing industry. Food processing industry can boost the employment generation in the state of Assam as well as the whole region. The industry can generate 10 times of employment than any other industry. Countries like Malaysia processing Malaysia is processing 80% of its agriculture produce while only 20% of agriculture produce are processed in India. Processing of traditional food items like Johar rice, black rice, red rice, processing of spices like ginger, garlic, chilies, processing of different fruits like banana, pineapple, kiwi, lychee can be done in a processing unit. Any kind of processed foods like canned fruits, dry fruits can give a good value to the farmers. And every farmer must have a reach to a post-harvest processing unit. The technologies required for food processing of foods are available with agencies like NRDC, CSR Labs, and then entrepreneur can take up technologies and training and can start a business. Assam is losing thousands of crores of money because of post-harvest losses. Here, the availability of cold storage and food processing units has arise. It may not be possible for a person or a farmer to set up a cold storage unit near his field. However, a MSME unit or a self-help group can set up such facility and these facility can be utilized by numbers of farmers in a locality. Fourthly, I like to speak about plant tissue culture. Establishment of a plant tissue culture lab in private sector in any region is in high demand. A tissue culture lab can produce genetically identical, high quality, high yielding disease free varieties of plants. Tissue culture protocols for different plants are available and so here in northeastern states we can work on bamboo, banana, orchids, seasonal flowers, brahmi, tea, etc. Toklai Teresus Institute has developed low-cost tissue culture technology for tea also. Assam Agriculture University is doing research on Malvok variety that is the indigenous variety of Assam and protocol for plant tissue cultures are also available for uh, Jahazi and Amrit Sagar varieties. Under skill development scheme of Government of India, training for lab technician for plant tissue culture lab is also available. After proper training, one can set up a tissue culture unit also. Apart from these, we can take up floriculture, then production of biofertilizer and biopesticide, then mushroom cultivation and hydroponics along with aquaponics can be taken up for self-employment. Now, we have concepts. We have the resources. Resources means currently unemployed people and the raw materials. We have the technical support from which different uh, means technical support from different organizations. Then requirement is the finance. Guarantee free loan from NABARD under Atman Nirbhar Bharat Avijan is available for MSMEs and other bank loans are also available. Apart from that, different grants for R&D and for scaling up are also available like Biotechnology Ignition Grant, like uh, Small Business Innovation Research Grant, Biotechnology Industry Partnership Program of BIREC. Incubation centers are available for proof of concept work and R&D works and small scale productions. There are different incubation centers are available here in, in this region at Naipa Guwahati, ISST, Mizoram University as Bionist. We have the hotel incubation center at Assam Agriculture University. We have the technology incubation center and research park at IIT Guwahati. And we also have the Guwahati Biotech Park. Guwahati Biotech Park is also providing incubation and training facilities. I like to speak about some of the incubators of Guwahati Biotech Park. Uh, first one, the Inotech Intervention Private Limited. They are working on the vitamin D fortified mushroom. Then we have the Bioaptazan Private Limited. They are working on the diagnostic kits, probiotics, and currently they are working on a project RoboSwitch, a diagnostic kit for detection of coronavirus with IIT Guwahati. We have Oza Biosolutions Private Limited. They are working, developing a process to enhance production of agar oil in in vitro condition. There are different type of online training programs are also available nowadays, which is sponsored by DBT and DST. I like to speak about 
Oman Entrepreneurship Development Program, then Technology-Based Entrepreneurship Development Program, Faculty Development Programs, and all are currently available. In Assam, we have the Assam Biotech Policy, we have the Assam Startup Policy, we have different organizations, all the institutes like IIE, NRDC, Assam Agriculture University, CSR NIST, NIF, the NIST, ISST, IIT Guwahati, GBP are available. And they are there to support with the objective to promote and develop entrepreneurship. Now, as I have already mentioned that the current unemployed people are diversified in terms of education, work experiences, age groups. It may not be possible for all to reach the organizations directly. Therefore, existing entrepreneurs, existing startups, companies, NGOs can take the lead and the people can form self-help group NGOs to take every entrepreneurship for self-employment. And at last, I would say that with a proper plan and positive thinking, we will reach the new normals again. Thank you.